this time. I'm not used to being on live at this time. But I have a word for you. The Holy Spirit has instructed me to come live. I didn't plan to come live. But I am live because there's a word for you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody is about to be delivered. Somebody is about to be delivered. I was sent on this platform about an hour ago, the Holy Spirit said to me, go live. Somebody needs to be delivered. I had no plans to come live. Hallelujah, Jesus. But when the Lord speaks, we move. When the Lord speaks, we move. Hallelujah. So I'm here on this platform because somebody needs to be delivered. And as a servant of God, when the Lord speaks, you move. Hallelujah. When the Lord speaks, you move. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, mighty God. Just go ahead and share this live for me if you can right away. Good morning to you, Tamar. You're watching from the Bahamas. It is almost midday. It's almost mid midday. I didn't plan to come live, but I'm moving as the Holy Spirit leads because somebody needs to be delivered and I will be praying for you. Hallelujah. Good morning to you, Donna Thompson. Sasha Gay. Good morning, Tanise, and good morning to you, Petra. How is your dad, um, Tanise? How is your dad doing? Good morning to you, Florence. Florence, is it Chimenian? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, everybody, as you join. Somebody is about to be delivered. Stay with me on this platform. Do not move. Invite somebody. Share the live because I'm telling you this morning that somebody is about to be delivered. I was instructed to come live because somebody is about to be delivered hallelujah jesus if you are believing god for deliverance this morning and you have found yourself on this live whether by accident or you normally follow the ministry you are here for a reason <coughs> don't move a muscle do not move somebody is about to be delivered this morning that somebody could be you hallelujah the holy spirit just ministered to me about an hour ago go live Somebody needs to be delivered. I had no plans to come on this live. Listen, somebody. I have a testimony for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Go ahead and share this live. I need to share you to share this live to 10 of the groups that you're a part of. Just share it right now. I want you to share it to your friends inbox and to start a watch party. Those of you who can. The Spirit of God is upon this live already. The Spirit of God is already upon this live. And somebody is about to be delivered. I move in obedience 
to the instructions of the Holy Spirit this morning to come live. I had no plan to do so. I'm on this platform now because somebody is about to get their deliverance and that somebody could be you. Good morning to you, Dwayne Edwards. Hallelujah. Stay on this platform. Do not move off this live. That somebody could be you. I have a testimony that I must share with you, but I need to share this live right away to as many people as you can. Move as you are instructed this morning. Share this live to as many people as you can. I had no plans to be on this platform, but the Spirit of God said, go live. And when you get that kind of instruction, you move because God has a plan. You move because God has a plan. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, everybody, as you join me. I have a testimony for you this morning. I just want to share some things with you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Before I begin to pray for you this morning, I want to share some things with you. Good morning to you, Michelle Matthews. Good morning, Desiree Beverly. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to read Psalm 46. Let me just read Psalm 46 to get us started this morning because the fire of God shall be upon this life and somebody will be delivered this morning. Your deliverance is coming because the Lord instructed me to come live. I had no plans to do so. So let me see if I can pull up Psalm 46. Hallelujah. Just worship with me as you come on the live, people of God. Worship with me and welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. Worship with me so that the Holy Spirit can flood this life this morning. Worship with me and usher in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands wherever you are right now. Lift your hands and begin to praise. Lift your hands and begin to worship. Lift your hands and welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. Your deliverance will come today. Your praise will bring your deliverance today. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Spirit of God says your deliverance is in your praise. Hallelujah. Your deliverance is in your praise. Open your mouth wherever you are right now and begin to praise God. Begin to worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, your name is worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. He deserves the praise. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. My God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. We praise you. Jesus, you are fought for us. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for what you're about to do on this life today. Mighty God, I thank you in advance for the deliverance that is coming for your people who are watching and believing by faith. I thank you, mighty God, that you instructed me to come live. God Almighty, you knew I had no plans to do so. But when you speak, my God, as an obedient servant, we move. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm on this platform, God Almighty, for you to use me in an even more powerful way than you have done before. I'm on this platform, God, for you to use me to bless your people. I'm on this platform, God, for you to use me to bring deliverance to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare this morning, God, that a breakthrough is coming for somebody who is watching. A breakthrough is coming for somebody who is watching. Deliverance is coming for somebody who is watching. Healing is coming for somebody who is watching. The Spirit of God is upon this life and it shall move mightily over the people who are watching. Let your mouth begin to praise God right now. Open your mouth and begin to praise Him in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your praise. Release your worship right now. So that the power of God can begin to move over your life for deliverance. Hallelujah. As we approach the midday hour, Father, we ask that you bring a miraculous thing upon this life today. Do something special, God. You sent me here for a reason. So we are believing you, Father God, for something special. We are believing you, God, for a mighty move at midday. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be done for your people who are watching. Let it be done for your people who are believing. Let it be done for your people who are hungry. Let it be done. For your people who have come by faith, let it be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. Let me see if I can pull up Psalm 46 right now. God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. 
Therefore, I will not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in the sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. And I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 146. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now listen, people of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. Just continue to share the live and invite as many people as you can right now. The Spirit of God says somebody's about to be delivered today. Somebody's about to be delivered. Let me tell you something, people of God. I have a testimony that I must share with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have wanted to come live for quite a few days now and I could not come live. I could not come live. Let me share this testimony with you, people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have wanted to come live with you for days now and I could not come live. Hallelujah. I could not come live because every time I minister, every time I do a deliverance session, I come under attack. Every time I come on this platform and I do a deliverance session, Every time I pray for people, when I come on this platform and people are healed, people are delivered, I come under attack. But what has been happening, people of God, is that the attacks cannot really manage me. So the attacks are coming against my family, especially my children. Every time I come on this platform and I conduct a powerful session of deliverance, my family comes under attack. The enemy cannot manage me. So when the enemy cannot manage me, the enemy attacks my children. Hallelujah, Jesus. My 17-year-old son has not been well since Tuesday. The day after Labor Day, he was fine. And then when I came on Facebook Live and I ministered, I noticed that things began to shift again, like a pattern of attacks coming against my family. By Tuesday, my son came to me. He's 17, he has sickle cell. He came to me and he said, Mom, my back is hurting. I said, mighty God, here we go. He hasn't had an attack in a little while. But as soon as I minister deliverance, the attacks begin. That is why as ministers, when we come on this platform or wherever we are going to minister, we have to cover ourselves and we have to have intercessors praying us up. And when I'm coming off the live, as soon as I'm off the live, I have to cover myself. Because whatever the people are delivered from, sometimes it attacks us as ministers. When you are delivered from your illnesses, sometimes the illness attacks us. Once we take you through deliverance, God uses us to deliver you. We have to pray and cover ourselves hallelujah because the attacks come let me tell you something people of God there are times when I do deliverance and then the next morning I wake up with scratches all over my body look at my nails I don't have any nails I stopped wearing fake nails quite some time now these are my natural nails they're cut very short every time I minister and do deliverance I come under attack. Sometimes I wake up with scratches, scratches across my back. The last deliverance session I did, I woke up with a massive scratch across my shoulder right here. Just like when somebody used their nails and scratch you. The following day, I, I got a scratch. I woke up in the morning to a scratch on my leg. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Good morning, Pastor T. Lock. Thank you for praying up the live. I need you to cover this live right now. Yes. So the day afterwards, it was a scratch on my leg that I woke up with. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some time ago, a woman of God was asked to cover the live. I publicly asked her to cover the live, and she was on the live covering. The woman of God is in England. Next day, she messaged me. She said, Rev, she said, the kind of attacks that are coming against you are not normal. She said, I woke up this morning with multiple scratches across my body because she prayed up the life. She covered the life for me. So by the next morning, she came under attack. Scratch, scratch, scratch all over her body. So let me tell you something, people of God. This deliverance thing, deliverance ministry is not something to play with. It's a lot of sacrifice that we put in. It's a lot of warfare that we have to deal with. And if you're not strong, oh mighty God. Because the enemy cannot attack you sometimes, he'll attack your family, those who are close to you. So my son has not been well from last Tuesday. I finally had to take him to the emergency room. So I was at the hospital with him yesterday for many hours. I did get back home until after 10 last night, he was released. And I had to stand firm too against the enemy. I had to be continuously praying for him and decreeing and declaring over his life. Because the attack came through sickle cell pains in his back and then the pain moved to his shoulder and then it moved to his ribs and then it moved to his right hand. It just kept moving. Every time I run the pain from one place, it goes somewhere else. Every time I prayed away the pain, I prayed the pain out of the back, it went into the hand. I prayed out of the hand, it went into the shoulder. I prayed out of the shoulder, it went into his ribs. So me and this thing all over the place, me and this thing all over the place. But I wasn't gonna back down. Hallelujah, Jesus. So he was released last night after 10 we got home this morning when i was here as i said i didn't plan to come live because my son was not well and i have a major project i'm trying to do and every time there's something major that the lord gives me to do i come under attack because this is what happens when god puts you on assignment the enemy tries to distract you with these attacks hallelujah so i saw the attack i saw what the enemy was trying to do but this morning I was here with my son and my son has not used the, the bathroom for what? Since Tuesday when he was ill. He has not used the bathroom. He's able to urinate. That's fine. But he has not, able, he has not been able to pass any stools since last week, Tuesday. When we were at the hospital, they gave him laxative. The doctors gave him laxative. Not a thing happened. Still no stools no stools so this morning a colleague minister called me and i told him that my son was not well and he began to pray and minister to me and the moment the man of god was finished ministering to me i just got radical in the spirit i said eh -eh, i have to take this up a notch he said it's an, it's an attack of the enemy against my family and it will not work so as soon as the man of god hung up the phone I got radical in the spirit. I went and I fetched my olive oil and I got a glass of water and I went into my son's room and I said to him, I called him by name. I called his full name and I pointed at him with my finger like this and I said, I am going to pray for you. I am going to consecrate this water. I'm going to put olive oil in this water you're gonna drink this water and before the end of the day you will go to the bathroom that's what I said to my son and I said it three times because I got mad against the enemy I got radical in the spirit and I said father the same kind of grace that is over my life to deliver others the same grace that is over my life to bring healing to other people I said it will be demonstrated this morning over my son it will be demonstrated in my household it will be demonstrated this morning he shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus 
I said, the same grace that was upon my life, God, when he had a problem with his stomach and you said, lay hands and pray. And I laid hands and prayed and he was healed. His stomach just shrank after I prayed for him. I said, the same grace that is upon my life, where when he was supposed to graduate, he came under attack with sickle cell pains. And I got up and I decreed and declared and I prayed and anointed him. And I said, you will graduate today. You will go to graduation. You will be healed. That was about midnight. By five o'clock in the morning, my son was up. Not one sign of pain. Everything run gone. He went to his graduation, fit as a fiddle, just like every other child. No sign of illness. So this is a kind of radical faith that I got up with this morning and spoke over my son, consecrated the water, put olive oil in it, prayed, gave it to him, and I said, drink. You know how children are. They might give you problems. Sometimes you give them something to drink and they don't like the taste. He drank and he paused. I said, drink. He drank and he paused. I said, drink. He drank and he paused. I said, drink. He drank and he paused. I said, finish it. So he drank off that glass of consecrated water. People of God, I kid you not. I came out here in my little studio and I sat down. The Holy Spirit says, go live. Because the anointing was flowing. The same anointing that was over me when I was praying for him was flowing. The Holy Spirit said, go live. Somebody needs to be delivered. The Holy Spirit said, go live. Somebody needs to be delivered. So I was preparing to come live. When I saw my son come right at the little corner there, tattooed area, and he was smiling, he walked to the little area where he could see me at my computer. And he said, I just use the bathroom. I said, mighty God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, people of God, the boy came and he smiled at me and he said, Mom, I just use the bathroom. That was about half an hour after I prayed over him, gave him the consecrated water. He has not used the bathroom since last week, Tuesday. And I got up in radical faith, spoke over him, consecrated the water, gave it to him, anointed him, commanded him to drink. And within half an hour, the Spirit of God moved mightily. The healing power of God did what the doctors couldn't do. People of God, the God we serve is mighty and powerful. I have proven him so many times in my life. And that is why I have this kind of radical faith. This is why I want you to have the same kind of radical faith. That your deliverance is going to come this morning when I minister. Your deliverance is going to come when I pray for you. I don't know what your issue is. But begin to decree and declare that my deliverance is coming. My deliverance is coming in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak over your life right now. Before I even reach to you to pray for you. Begin to speak it right now that your deliverance is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning to you, Minister Debron. Alexander, how are you? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. Even I speak right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's a feeling of heaviness. There is somebody that is watching me. And there's this feeling of heaviness that has come over you. And it just came upon you suddenly. You can't explain it. But there's a feeling of heaviness that has come in your spirit. And it happened to you suddenly. You can't explain it. You can't explain it. There is heaviness. A lot of heaviness in your spirit. Who is that person? Good morning to you, my mother, Reverend Frederica. The person with the heaviness that has come over you. There's a heaviness that has come over you. Maybe for the past few days or so you have been feeling it. You're not sure why, but there's a heaviness, a heaviness that has come into your spirit. You need to be delivered. Let me see who that person is right now. Who is it? Good morning to you, Apostle George Kengara. Good morning, Anthony McDonald, Trudy Smith. Good morning. The person with the heaviness in your spirit I'm following the, 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 um, the comments to see if I can pick you up. But I need to pray for you. The heaviness has just come in your spirit over the past few days. Hallelujah. 
generational curse breaker, you say you are talking to me. Are you the person with the heaviness in your spirit? Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whoever that person is with the heaviness in your spirit, let me tell you what I'm seeing over you. In the realms of the spirit, what I'm seeing, do you know what an Egyptian mummy looks like? With the layers of wrapping around it. That's how I'm seeing you in the realms of the spirit. It's like you're wrapped up, wrapped up, wrapped up and tied up. That person with the heaviness in your spirit. Good morning to you, man of, woman of God. Good morning to you. God bless you. The person with the heaviness in your spirit. Namaste is well. What is your correct name again, sister? What is your correct name again? I need to pray for you. I see you wrapped up in the realms of the spirit. You're wrapped up like an Egyptian mummy. If you don't know what that looks like, go and Google it right now. Go and Google it so you can see. But you're wrapped up, wrapped up and tied up in clothing. White clothing. I see you're wrapped up. You know when bandages around a cut or bandages around your foot? That's how you're wrapped up. You're wrapped up, wrapped up and tied up. That is for the person with the heaviness in your spirit. It has come upon you over the last few days and you cannot understand why. Novelette is saying me. If you have your olive oil, all of you who are feeling this heaviness in your spirit, in the realms of the spirit, you're in bondage. I see you wrapped up and tied up. You're in spiritual bondage. I see you wrapped up like an Egyptian mummy. God wants to loose you. God wants to loose you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you have olive oil, I need you to anoint your hands right now. Anoint your hands if you have your olive oil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anoint your hands for me right now. The person or persons who are feeling that heaviness in your spirit, I need you to anoint your hands with olive oil right now. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mighty God. I see you wrapped up tight. I see you wrapped up like an Egyptian mummy. But I loose you now. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, I loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I unwrap you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to walk out of those grave clothes. Walk out of those grave clothes right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Walk out of them. If you are in a place where you can follow these prophetic instructions, do as I'm saying to you right now. If you are the person or persons who've come under attack with the spirit of heaviness, I want you to be loosed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm giving you instructions. Turn around seven times. Turn to your right. Seven times. Seven times I need you to turn around right now. You know when you're unwrapping something? I need you to be unwrapped this morning by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're going to be unwrapped this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Seven times to the right. Turn right now. Seven times to the right. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I loose you now by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I unwrap you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I loose you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every grave clothes that is upon you is coming off. Everything that has you in bondage, I cut you loose this morning by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit of heaviness over your life, I command it to loose you now. Loose you now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of bondage over your life, I break it now by fire. Every constricting spirit that is squeezing the life out of you this morning. I loose you now by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the blood begin to speak over you now. In Jesus name. Every person on this life who has come under attack. With a spirit of heaviness that has come upon you suddenly. I loose you this morning by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I remove every grave clothes that is upon you. In the realms of the spirit I place new garments, fresh garments, garments of anointing upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Every old garment that the enemy has placed upon you. Every grave clothes. I remove it by fire in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you have been loosed by the power of the blood. The same power that moved upon my son this morning for healing. I loose it upon this life now in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that you have been cut loose from your grave clothes. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Fresh garments are upon you as of now. In Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. I hear the Holy Spirit say, take authority. There are some of you on the live this morning going through some things and God is waiting for you to take authority, hallelujah. To take authority over that which has you bound. To take authority over that which is afflicting you. I hear the spirit of God say authority, take authority, authority, hallelujah Jesus. And I'm speaking to the born again believers who are on this live who are not exercising the authority that God has given you. You are struggling with different issues and you are not using the weapons. You are not using the tools that God has given you to release yourself. You are not using the tools God has given you for your breakthrough. You are not using the tools for your deliverance. You are not using the tools for your healing. There are some scriptures that the Spirit of God is dropping into my spirit right now for you. So all of you on this live this morning, who are not using your authority, this is your instruction right now. Isaiah 54, 17, begin to speak Isaiah 54, 17 over your life. Seven times this morning, hallelujah, Jesus. This is a scripture of authority, hallelujah. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against you in judgment shall be condemned. This is a heritage of the servants of the Lord. Are you hearing me, somebody? The scripture says this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. This is your authority. Begin to speak over your life that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. God says this is your heritage. Born again believers of God who have been walking in neutrality. Born again believers who don't have any fire born again believers who are shrinking every time the enemy comes at you this is your word this morning the spirit of God says take authority begin to speak over your life Isaiah 54 17 decree and declare no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper the power is in your mouth release it says the spirit of the living God sometimes you have to get radical just like how I got radical this morning with my son for his healing. When I spoke the word over him this morning and I pointed at him and I said, before the end of the day, you will use the bathroom. And it didn't take 35 minutes. Not even 35 minutes after I spoke the word and consecrated the water for him. Use your authority, people of God. Use your authority. Hallelujah. Scripture number two, Luke 10 and verse 19. For those of you who have not been using your authority, this is the next scripture that I want you to note. Luke 10 and verse 19, the Spirit of God says, Remember that I gave you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm you let me repeat the scripture Luke 10 19 write it down the Lord says I give you power 
to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. What more do you need? What more do you need to hear? To understand the power that has been given unto you. To understand the authority that you have. Use it. Stop crying and start declaring. Stop crying and start praying. Stop crying and get radical. Some of you need to start marching up and down in your house. Anoint your children. Lay hands on them and pray if they are not well. Or if something is happening with them that you don't like, you're not happy with it. Lay hands on those children. Anoint them and pray. Command that thing that is upon their life to break. Command that thing to flee. Command their deliverance. I am saying it to you because I have done it over and over and it has worked. You can do the same. God is telling you in the scripture, Luke 10, 19, that he has given you the power. So every witchcraft power that is coming against you, serpents and scorpions, you have the power to break it. You have the power to run with the thing. You have the power to bind it up. Matthew 18, 18, people of God, that thing that has been loosed over your life, you have the power to bind it. You have authority. Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So you bind up the demonic forces that are attacking you. You bind up the powers of witchcraft that are coming against you. Because you have already been told in Luke 10, 19 that you have the power to tread upon it. So when you have trod upon it, as you are instructed in Luke 10, 19, come now to Matthew 18, 18, and you bind it up. Bind up that thing. Because the promise is there that what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. So God is waiting on you to exercise the authority that he gave you. Begin to bind up those things that are affecting your life. Those things that are causing chaos. Those things that are causing sickness. Those things that are causing distress. Those things that are causing confusion. Those things that are causing you not to be able to keep money in your hands. Those things that are causing you to struggle financially. Those things that are causing your children to be wayward. Spirit of God says, take authority. Walk in the authority I have given you. Use the tools that I have given you. Trample upon the thing. Remember, your feet represent dominion. When you want to dominate something in the spirit, walk on it, trample upon it. Remember when God was showing Abraham the promised land, what did he tell him to do? He showed it to him and then he said, walk the length and breadth of it from the east, west, north and south. He said, walk it because it's yours. I have given you dominion over it. So anything that you want to establish dominion over, use your feet in the realms of the spirit and establish dominion over it. your authority people of God stop sitting down and crying stop suffering because you're not using what has been given unto you you have tools your warfare is not against flesh and blood it's against principalities and powers your strategy is wrong your strategy is flawed because the weapons that you are using are useless against principalities and powers Fight with prayer. Fight with the word. Decree and declare things. Cut things off your life. 
thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto you and the light shall shine upon thy ways Job 22 28 so you see what I'm saying people of God these are the power scriptures the scriptures that show you that you have authority this is what the Holy Spirit released to me to give to you today so that you can release your authority walk in your authority cover yourself under the blood no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper write the scriptures down Isaiah 54 17 so you begin by covering yourself you say no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned and then you use the authority that God has given you to tread upon the serpent tread upon the scorpion that is affecting you because he told you that he has given you power over all the power of the enemy are you hearing me somebody all not some all and nothing shall by any means harm and when you have trod upon the serpents and scorpions bind them up and loose yourself loose the blood over your life loose the blood over your life I bind up every attack of the enemy that is coming against you this morning every attack of the enemy coming against your mind every attack of the enemy coming against your family every attack of the enemy coming against your health every attack of the enemy coming against your ministry every attack of the enemy against your finances I bind it up now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I loose the blood over you as you watch this live I saturate you in the blood this morning I saturate you in the blood for breakthrough. I saturate you in the blood for healing. I saturate you in the blood for deliverance. I saturate you in the blood right now for blessings to flow over your life. I saturate you in the blood for open doors. In the mighty name of Jesus, those of you who are seeking a job, I speak open doors over you right now. Every chain that has been upon you, every blockage over your life, that has been preventing you from getting a job. I loose you this morning by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I break that padlock that is upon your life and I loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that you are stepping right now into a season of favor. This is your season of birthing. Whatever the enemy has held up for you, whatever the enemy has delayed, I loose it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the Prince of Persia has no power over the blood of Jesus. That speaks for you. There shall be no more delays. I call for it the job that you have been waiting for. I call for it the financial increase you have been waiting for. I call for it new territories for your ministry. I call for it destiny helpers for you. I call for good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that has been denied, everything that has been delayed, I loose them now by the power of the blood. Come into agreement with me right now. Just type that thing. Whatever that thing is in your life that has been held up and you want God to loose it now, just type it and begin to speak. I loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that thing is that has been held up. If you are believing God for it to be loose. Listen, I came on this live because the spirit of God said go live. Somebody is about to be delivered. I speak your deliverance this morning in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more hindrance in your matter. Your matter is settled in the mighty name of Jesus. God is settling your matter today. And I speak with the authority that has been given to me as a servant of God in Job 22, 28. I decree the thing and it must be established. As I release these words into the atmosphere, they shall be established in the mighty name of Jesus. I release them by faith. I release them with conviction because the word of God does not return unto him void. It must be solidified. God is settling your matter. Just type, God is settling my matter. Hyacinth Gray Gray, God is settling your matter. Minister Sophia Patrick, God is settling your matter. Nicolette Dawkins, God is settling your matter. Francine Lewis, God is settling your matter. Yolanda Smith, God is settling your matter. Caroline Richards, God is settling your matter. Tracy Hamilton, God is settling your matter. Nicola Morrison, God is settling your matter. Shari Walsh, 
God is settling your matter. Sheena is ready. God is shed, settling your matter. Do not be afraid. He has not given you a spirit of fear. He has given you love, power, and a sound mind. Use it. That's another scripture of authority. God says he has not given you a spirit of fear. He has given you love, power, and a sound mind. Use them. Hallelujah. What is it that the enemy is trying to delay in your life? Let us lose that thing by fire right now. Just type and let me know. Let us pray over that thing which the enemy is trying to hold up in your life. Let us loose you now by fire. Let us loose you by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ which speaks for you. Hallelujah. Let us loose you. What is it that the enemy is trying to prevent you from accessing? Hope Moses says it's my season of unlimited favor. I come into agreement with you, Hope Moses, by the power of the blood of Jesus. I speak it over your life and I decree and declare that every chain that was upon your life is now broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release you into a new season, Hope. Your name is Hope. Let your name work for you this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Donna Thompson. I speak it over your life right now that every chain that has been holding you captive is now broken in the mighty name of Jesus. This is for every person who is watching me right now and you felt that you are stuck. You feel as though you are stuck at one place and you're not moving. This is for you. I release you from every chain of bondage over your life. Every box that the enemy has put you in every chain that has been placed upon you, every bar that has been put around you, wherever you have been chained in, we break those bars right now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the blood begin to speak over your life. You have been loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall move with divine speed from that place which the enemy had planted you. I loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let this be your season of blossoming. Let this be your season of harvest. Let this be your season of reaping. Let it be done for you by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that you are free. You are free. And the Lord has just dropped in my spirit. I don't know who you are that is watching me right now. You're looking at me and let me tell you what is distracting you. You're looking at the way I look. And you're thinking within yourself whether or not I am real because of the way I look. The Spirit of God says, receive your deliverance. Do not be distracted. Receive your deliverance. Do not look at me and get distracted by the way that I look. Look at the fruit. Let me remind you that all good things and all good gifts come from God. He gives them all to us. So don't be distracted by how I look. The power that is within. The power that is within is what matters. If you came for your deliverance, receive it by fire. Evangelist Maureen Mitchell, I'll loose you from every chain of bondage over your life and over your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that in this season you shall move like a parachute. This is for you, Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. You shall move like a parachute Every spirit of delay that was over your life, evangelist, is now broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take a spiritual armor right now, my sister, and I hammer down everything that was holding you back. I break the chains now with a spiritual hammer in the mighty name of Jesus. I break those chains right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus, evangelist Mitchell, Maureen Mitchell. It is time for your deliverance. Too much struggle. Too much disappointment. I come against the spirit of backwardness over your life, Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. Two steps forward. Five steps backward. Spirit of backwardness over your life is now broken. It is time for you to soar, woman of God. It is time for you to soar. 
You have gifts that have not even been activated. Evangelist Maureen. God is going to allow you to see deeper in the realms of the spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. You shall begin to see deeper in the realms of the spirit. Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. God is opening your spiritual eyes and taking you to a new level. But the spirit of destruction that is upon your life must be broken. Too many personal issues. It's a distracting tactic that the enemy has sent against you, Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. There is so much more that God wants you to step into, but you are so distracted with trying to resolve personal issues that you can't walk in what God has called you, yet you are distracted. I loose you by the power of the blood of Jesus. Every spirit of heaviness that has been upon you in recent times, Evangelist Maureen, I loose you. You have been crying. You have not been crying. You have been wailing. Weeping and wailing. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that your season of joy is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus, Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. Weeping prevails for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Thank you, Jesus. Let me see who I can pray for. I'm going to go through and... Move as the Holy Spirit leads me to pray. We're handing over the battle to the Lord. Fight this battle for me. Say it, Father. Fight this battle for me. Fight this battle for me. Hand over the battle to God right now. Hand over the battle. And let him fight it for you. I want you to take two minutes and just worship. Worship. Two minutes. Just lift up your hands where you are and begin to worship. Surrender completely so that God can take control. Release everything upon your heart so that God can pour into you. Take two minutes right now. Pour out so that God can pour into you. Just worship. Surrender completely and worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let me see if I can share this live one more time before I begin to pray for you. I'm sensing in my spirit there is somebody who needs to come on this live to be delivered. Somebody needs to be on this live who is not yet on the live. So right now I'm taking a moment to share the live. Begin to worship those of you who are not worshiping. Worship right now. Worship right now. The atmosphere is ripe for breakthrough. The atmosphere is ripe for miracles. The atmosphere is ripe for healing. Worship right now. Worship now so that the portals of heaven can be open over your life. Hand over the battle to God. Let him fight this one for you. Hallelujah. This is what I need you to do, Lord. Fight this battle for me. Thank you, Jesus. Before I begin to pray for you, just surrender everything to God right now. Everything on your heart that is not of Him, release it. Release it so there will be no hindrance when I pray for you. Release it to enable your breakthrough. Make room for God to pour into you right now. Make room for God to pour into you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to make room, everybody who is watching this live, if you're believing God for deliverance, make room right now by releasing everything on your heart that is not of Him. Make room for God to pour into you. Make room for your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. You have won again. You have won again. Hallelujah. You have won again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. You have won again, Father. You have given us the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. All right, Father, we receive victory right now in the name of Jesus. We receive our victory right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. All right. Let me see who the Holy Spirit is leading me to lift up this morning for breakthrough. I think it's afternoon now. Yes, it's afternoon now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands this morning, wherever you are. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands and worship right now as I prepare to pray for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No weapon that forms against you will prosper. Hallelujah. Speak the word. Authority. Can you hear the song? This is your song. Victory is coming for you. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Sister Maria Nicholson, I see you. Annie Jackson, I see you. God bless you. I see you, Malvo. Speak victory over your life. The battle belongs to God. We are handing it over to him right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I lift up Maxine Davis now. I lift her up for breakthrough. I lift her up for deliverance and healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But God, begin to move over her life in no uncertain way. Let your hand move over her life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I come against that which is coming against her. And I decree and declare that no weapon formed against your daughter shall prosper. Any tongue that rises up against her in judgment shall be condemned. Mighty God, I use the authority that you have given me. And I crush every serpent and scorpion in her life. I crush them now by the power of the blood that speaks over her. I decree and declare, mighty God, that that which was held up for your daughter is now loosed. It is now loosed. It is loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Every grave clothes that was on your daughter is coming off today. It is coming off right now. Her deliverance is here. Maxine Davis, just type, I receive my deliverance in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. LaShonda Wilson. LaSondra Wilson. Holy Spirit. Lenora Daly. Delia Henry. Shaquille Han. Una Harvey. Yolanda Smith. Anne Marie Smith. Tracy Hamilton. Warren Turner. Warren, what has been happening with you, my friend? Warren Turner, what has dampened your spirit? There was fire in you, but I'm seeing where the fire has gone down. Warren Turner, something has dampened your spirit. I see your fire fading. I call for it, your fire again in the name of Jesus. May the word of God begin to light the embers in your life. I come against every attack of the enemy against you and against your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. I command those fires in you to light up again. Light up again in the name of Jesus. Light up again, Warren Turner. Anything that has dampened your spirit, I come against it now by the power of the blood of Jesus. I speak new fire upon you in this season, Warren Turner. New fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Your deliverance will come when you relight your fire says the spirit of the living God hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus I was ministering here the other day and I told you there was somebody on the live who the spirit of witchcraft was over your life that you keep seeing a frog and I could see the house in Jamaica that there was a frog coming to your front yard. You keep seeing this frog in your front yard. A spirit of witchcraft coming against you. 
You thought you killed it and it came back. You thought you killed it and it came back. The Spirit of God says take authority. You will not kill that thing in the physical. You must kill it in the spirit. It says the Spirit of the living God. Killing the frog in the natural does not kill it. That's the spirit of witchcraft. You must kill the thing in the spirit. Take authority. I gave you the scriptures, my sister. The one who has the frogs coming in your front yard. I ministered about it and then you came in box and you told me it was you. And you said you killed the thing and it came back. As of today, I decree and declare every spirit of witchcraft coming against you is broken in the name of Jesus. I command that thing to flee. I send the fire of God to your house right now. I send the fire of God to your house right now to consume every altar that has been lifted up against you. Every witchcraft altar that has been lifted up against you must come down now. As of today, the 14th day of September, 14, biblically, the number represents deliverance. I speak deliverance over you right now from every spirit of witchcraft over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 14 represents deliverance. Receive wherever you are. If you're watching me right now, your deliverance is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Take it by faith. Take it by faith. The created cannot be greater than the creator. So whatever witchcraft powers are coming against you, Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Crush that thing under your feet, sister, in the realms of the spirit. Establish dominion over that which came to dominate you. Take authority. Spirit of the living God says, take authority. You can't throw a big stone on the frog and think that's it. The stone you need to throw must come out of your mouth. A physical stone will not kill it. It must die in the spirit. How does it die in the spirit? You take authority. You use your mouth. You pray. You kill it with spiritual bullets. You kill it with the spiritual weapons that God has given you. Fire the bullets out of your mouth. Spiritual bullets out of your mouth to kill that thing. When I spoke over my son this morning, I released spiritual bullets. When I said, before the end of the day, you shall use the bathroom. I released spiritual bullets. I used the authority that was given to me by Almighty God. And I released spiritual bullets. And I kill in the realms of the spirit. Whatever it was that was preventing him from using the bathroom. Within half an hour, he used the bathroom. He had not used it for what? Seven days. Seven days. That's what you need to do. Use your authority. Release bullets with your mouth. Use your bullets to kill the enemy. Use your spiritual weapons. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Let me see if I can find Jabez. Because some of you sometimes you need a little push. So I'm going to use Jabez to push you today, okay? I'm going to push you today. All of the warriors get ready. Those of you who didn't know you have a warrior spirit, I went pull it out of you today. I'm pulling out the warrior spirit in you. Some of you need to just get radical. Hallelujah. Where are the warriors on this live? Let me see your warriors. Come on. This is your song. Pulling out the warriors that are on the live right now. All the warriors. All warriors, come forward. Come forward. Yes. Jamaican warriors, come forward. American warriors, come forward. Canadian warriors, come forward. English warriors, come forward. Australian warriors, come forward. Nigerian warriors, come forward. 
Botswana warriors come forward. Ghanaian warriors come forward. Cuban warriors come forward. Trinidadian warriors come forward. Guyanese warriors come forward. Come on, give me some more countries. Countries. Give me some more countries right now. All of the warriors who are watching me, wherever you're watching me from, come forward. Release the warrior spirit inside of you now. All of the Deborahs who are on this life, you are warriors. War my sisters and brothers who are not yet where you are. Let me see the Deborahs who are on this life. The people with the Deborah anointing, you are the warriors. Come forward, come forward. Come forward. Let us cover those who are not as strong. Let us pull up the warrior spirit in them right now. Let them understand there is power in their mouth. There is authority that they must use. I need to see the warriors. Come on. All of the warriors. Sister Claudia, you're a warrior. Come on now. Let me see all the warriors who are on this life. Just say, I am a warrior. And let me know where you're warring from. Where are you warring from right now? Tell me where you're warring from. Come on, people of God. All of the warriors. Let me know where you're warring from right now because we are calling warriors in this time. We are calling you forth in this season. You must come forward. Use the authority that God has given you. Stop sitting down and crying when you have power in your mouth. Stop sitting down and crying when God has given you weapons. Stop sitting down and crying when you have spiritual bullets to fire. Hallelujah. You're in the middle of warfare. Begin to fire bullets. Open your mouth and fire bullets. Jesus, Jesus. Where are you warring from? Where are you warring from right now? Philippa Wallace, Nina Brown Lee, Petra Wright, Frederica Bailey Wilson, Lenora Daly. Hallelujah. Take your authority. Yes, Pastor Tilo. Take the authority that God has given you. Use it. Elaine Hardy. Use your authority. Althea Lang, use your authority. Hallelujah. Sherlyn Smith, use your authority. Carlin Richards, use your authority. Some of you, let me release a word to you right now. The Spirit of God says, stop running behind other people hoping that they will give you your deliverance. The Spirit of God says, deliverance is in your mouth. because even as I'm dancing people are being delivered right now such is the power of God over this life as I am dancing people are being delivered right now in the mighty name of Jesus we have your flag if you're a warrior this morning where are you watching from we have your flag people of God Your deliverance is here. I don't have to make up a lot of noise for you to get your deliverance. It's the grace, the grace of God. It's the grace that is upon this life that will deliver you. If you come in agreement and believe, you will receive your deliverance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to pray some prayers for some of you. It looks like the battery is getting low. Hold on, people of God. Hold on. Let's see if I can plug this in. All right. I want it for some of you. I'm trying to make sure that this thing stays in place while I'm charging the phone. Hope it doesn't fall over. But I want to pray for some of you right now, okay? Watching from Guyana, Jean Vimas, welcome. Keisha McCoy is watching from Jamaica, welcome my warrior sister, hallelujah. Rosanna Constantine, where are you warring from, sister? Holy Spirit, I ask you, place a hedge of protection over everyone. 
Patricia Rose watching from Jamaica, Atlanta, Delia Thomas, Latoya is in Jamaica, Georgia, Alcia Miller, Yolanda is in Jamaica, Petra Wright is in Jamaica, Nisha is in Germany, Rosanna is in Trinidad, Shireen is in Georgia, hallelujah, Natalie, where are you, Jamaica, Warren Turner is in Jamaica, Warren, I hope you got the word that I released for you. The fires that are fading in you, the Spirit of God said, wake up the fire. Good morning to you, Doc, Charmaine. Good morning to you, Charmaine Gooden, Monteith. Good morning, my sister, Dion James Mighty. It's afternoon now. I keep saying good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. All right, lift up your hands in agreement with me now. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I am praying for all of you <coughs> who are on this live, who are coming under attack, constant attack from the enemy. You are struggling right now. The spirit of overwhelm is on your life. You are struggling. I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I lift up your daughters and your sons who are on this live. I lift up Malva Hogarth. I lift up Oma C. I lift up Cavell Main. I lift up Claudette Drummond. I lift up Sharon Delbury. I lift up Lenra Daly. I lift up, who is this, Yolanda? Yolanda Smith. Blossom Warren. Wallace, I lift you up, Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. As the names go up the screen, I'll call them. Good morning, Yvonne Ramarak. I lift you up right now. Claudia Grant Morris. Carol Givens. Latoya Tamara Edwards. Hallelujah, Sophia Patrick. I lift you up right now, Hyacinth Gray Gray. Maria Nicholson, every person who is on this live, God Almighty, who is believing you for deliverance today, every person who is believing you for a mighty move, Father, release it unto them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we come against the spirit of bondage that has been over their lives, that spirit of that bondage, mighty God, which has caused them not to reach their full potential. Mighty God, we come against right now and they can tell that a new season is upon their lives. We break it off them now Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare Father God they shall move forward with divine speed divine acceleration is over them and that which concerns them. God Almighty I speak release my God over the things which have been held up for them. Money is my God which have been held up for them. I speak release now in the name of Jesus I see like a chest just pop open, people of God. I don't know who is going to get this breakthrough, but I just saw like a chest with money pop open. Hallelujah. Whoever you are this morning, if you have been believing God for monies that have been held up for you, open your hands and say, I receive. Wherever you are, just open your hands and say, Father, I receive. I saw a trunk fly open with money. A trunk with money money fly open in the realms of the spirit hallelujah so whoever it is that has been waiting on monies that have been held up this is your day of breakthrough this is your day of release open your hands and say father i receive in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever you are watching the live this is your moment of breakthrough come back with your testimony monies and other things which have been held up for see in the realms of the spirit money is flying out of a trunk monies are coming to in the season that have been held up. Monies that have been held up are coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The chain upon your finances is broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, Jesus. I decree and declare that a release is coming to you Read your finances now. No more struggle in the name of Jesus Christ. That which you have been waiting on, that which has been held up for you has now been released. The Prince of Persia in your life has been defeated. The Prince of Persia has been defeated. Your monies are coming forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I speak it right now in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive it by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. Lord, for your people right now in the name of Jesus. You brought me on this life today, God. I didn't plan to come, but brought me this come because the anointing is flowing and you said Lord Almighty, you said that today somebody is about to be delivered. I speak deliverance over the lives of the people watching and coming into agreement now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and declare that things shall move for them with speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is their season, Father God. Grave clothes are coming off of them now. Grave clothes are coming off them. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. For those who are hidden behind a veil, I remove the veil that is over their life now. And I command their star to shine in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have been overlooked for promotion, they have been overlooked, mighty God, many times. I decree and declare, mighty God, that that veil is now removed and their star shall begin to shine. Whoever was overlooking them shall come looking for them now. In the name of Jesus, if you have been on the 
which are overlooked many times for promotion. They have not wanted to promote you. I release the anointing this morning for promotion over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I loose you from the spirit of bondage. I decree and declare that that spirit that has been upon your life, a spirit of sabotage and delay, is now broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall be sought. You will no longer seek, but they will come seeking you. Your promotion has been released in the mighty name of Jesus. Your promotion has been released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for the people on this live who are struggling with their marriage. I'm going to pray for deliverance for the people on this live who are struggling with marriage. The people on this live who are struggling with their marriage. I want to pray for deliverance over you, over your marriage this morning. Hallelujah. Come into agreement with me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I lift up the men and women who are on this line, who are seeking your divine intervention in their marriages. Mighty God, I speak on behalf of the women whose husbands will not settle down. I speak on behalf of the women whose husbands have women on the outside and are ignoring their needs and the needs of their children. Father, I speak on behalf of the women whose husbands refuse to take care of their households. I speak on behalf of the women who are struggling with husbands who are alcoholics. I speak on behalf of the women who are struggling with husbands who are drug addicts. Mighty God, I speak healing and deliverance over these families in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every spirit of addiction that is affecting the men and women in marriages. I come against that spirit, my God, of adult that is affecting marriages, of those who are watching this live. And I decree and declare, mighty God, that every Third party. Every illegal every illegal party in the marriage, huh? scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every marriage that is struggling because there is somebody else on the outside. Every marriage that is struggling because there is a third party. I come against the third party right now in the name of Jesus. I intercede on behalf of the wives. I intercede on behalf of the husbands who are struggling with spouses who are unfaithful. And I come against every illegal third party in the marriage. Whosoever God put together, let no man pull them asunder. I, I decree and believe that every illegal third party must scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I release these words from my mouth, let them pick up the phone and call the person and tell them it's over. Let them call them and tell them it's over. Mighty God, in some cases, let them disappear. Let them move away. Scatter them by fire in the name of Jesus. My God, we speak divine blessings and restoration over families right now. Families that have been destroyed, my God, by affairs. We speak restoration over them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be done for families now, God. Let it be done for the wives who are struggling with the unfaithful husbands. Let it be done with, for the husbands who are struggling with the unfaithful wives. I speak restoration over these families right now. Let the power of God come upon them in Jesus' name. Every illegal third party, we scatter you by fire right now. We put fire in your footsteps right now. Fire in your footsteps in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the will of God be done over families. Let the will of God be done over marriages. Let the will of God be done in Jesus' name. I pray this morning, God Almighty, for deliverance too. For the way of children, mighty God. The parents who are struggling with children who don't listen. The parents who are struggling to manage children, mighty God, who do not listen to them. I pray, Father God, that every person in those children's lives who is negatively influencing them, that you remove them and remove them with speed. Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the parents who are struggling with these children and cannot manage, we pray for divine wisdom to come upon them. We pray for help to come for, for them, mighty God. Wherever help should come from God, send it for them in the name of Jesus so they can manage these children. I decree and declare that the spirit of rebellion that is upon them, my God, 
that they are coming loose from it this morning in the name of Jesus. We break that spirit of rebellion upon these children now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every negative influence over their lives, God, scatter them now. Scatter them, Father. Remove and scatter them now in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, I call for the spirit of excellence upon some of these children who are being led astray. I call for the spirit of excellence over them right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that it shall return. It shall return and it shall manifest in their lives. They shall begin to do well in school. They shall know your name and lift you up as Lord. A turnaround is coming for them. A 360 degree turnaround is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak deliverance over these children. Deliverance over these families now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be done for them, God. In Jesus' name. Let me see how I'm doing with the time. Okay, it's now after one, people of God. It is time for me to just do a final prayer and wrap up because I've been on here for quite some time now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we lift up every person who is on this live. You know their needs, Father God. Some needs are financial, some are spiritual. Whatever the need is, Father. If it's a need for healing, Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak it over their lives, Father. We speak it over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. The person with a sweat. What do you have? Goiter? I'm seeing somebody with a swelling. There's a big swelling right here in your neck area. What is it? Is it goiter that you have? I have to pray for you. I was praying and I just saw it come up in front of me. The person with the swelling in your neck. There's a swelling. Not like a lump, you know. Not like a lump. It's swollen. What is it you have? Is it goiter? Hallelujah, Jesus. Who is the person? The swelling in your neck. It's not a lump. It's a swelling, like a swelling. Hallelujah, Jesus. Who is that person? Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me pray, pray for you, that person, before I go. Come now, come now. Who is that person? Who is that person? I'm looking on the arm. Um, hallelujah. I'm looking on the comments to see if I can identify you. Who is that person? Please. Identify yourself quickly because I was praying and the Holy Spirit just lifted you up in front of me. The person with the swelling in your neck area, identify yourself. If I don't see you within the next 20 seconds, I will just pray and move on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, this is for the person with the swelling in your neck. Hallelujah, Jesus. I lift up my hands as a point of contact for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever you are, lift up your hands in alignment with mine for your healing. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree and declare healing over your daughter or over your son right now. Whoever that person is that has a swelling in their neck, God, as you lifted them up before me, God, I know you did so because you wanted to heal them. So right now in the name of Jesus, God, I, I release the healing anointing over this life for your daughter or your son with that swelling in their neck. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that every seed that has been planted in their neck by the enemy, it must be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It must be removed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak full healing and restoration right now every spirit of infirmity over the, over their life it must be broken every spirit of infirmity over that person's life let it be broken in the name of Jesus God Almighty move through that neck right now move through that neck as I move my hands my God in the physical let it manifest in the spiritual move through that neck right now my God and and move through that neck, my God, and remove that swelling. Move through that neck now and remove that swelling in the name of Jesus. Move through that neck by fire and remove the swelling in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing over you. Healing over you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every tissue, every blood vessel, every muscle, everything in your neck that is out of alignment. I call it into alignment now. Begin to flush now, mighty God. Begin to flush. Begin to purge. Begin to cleanse. Smooth out that now in the name of Jesus, I speak healing over you. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blood covering over that person now, Father, in the name of Jesus. For all the persons on the live who are suffering with acid reflux, the persons on the live who are suffering with acid reflux, I pray for you right now for healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have a bottle of water, get it. Get your bottle of water. Let me just pray for it so I can get off the life. Hallelujah. If you have a bottle of water or a glass of water, get it now. Get it now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me pray over that water for you for your deliverance. Get your water. Get your water right now. Quick, 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 quick. Just get some water. Hallelujah. Get some water so I can pray for your deliverance this morning and get off the life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Get your water. Get your water. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your water. Do you have the water? People of God, if you have the water, just type. Just type, yes, I have it. Yes, I have it. Tell me if you have it, if you have the water, so I can pray over the water for you. Hurry up, hurry up. Yes, I have it, if you have the water. Quick, 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 quick. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you who have olive oil, you can get the olive oil as well. Get your olive oil, get your water. Olive oil, get your water. Get your water, get your olive oil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Malvo. Get your olive oil, get your water. Do you have your water ready? Just type, yes, I have it. Let me, let me pray over your water. Oh, Carol Smith is saying she has goiter. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up Sister Carol Smith to you right now, God Almighty. My God, you placed her before me because you wanted to heal her. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare healing over Carol Smith. Healing, my God, for the removal of that goiter now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of God reach her wherever she is. Touch her, mighty God, with your healing hands. I decree and declare that by stripes she's healed. Release your he healing angels, my God, to stand around your daughter, Carol Smith, now for complete healing from that goiter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak healing and restoration over your neck in Jesus' name. Let everything that is not functioning as it should begin to function only. As of now, I speak that word into the atmosphere. Let it be established over your daughter, Carol, healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, the persons who have the water, please tell me quick, quick. Lift up your water. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I speak healing over your throat right now, Joy Rose, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything the enemy has planted in your throat, I remove it by fire. I reach into your throat in the realms of the Spirit and I pull out everything the enemy has planted in it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every seed the enemy has planted in your, in your throat, Joy Rose, I remove it by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let he healing come you now in Jesus name let your deliverance come now in the mighty name of Jesus that is for you joy rose father as they lift their their water right now my God almighty let the healing power of the blood come upon that water we decree and declare that this water is consecrated my God to function like the blood let it function with the blood of Jesus Christ over it let it bring deliverance as they drink let it bring healing as they drink let it bring breakthrough as they bring as they drink right now Father, in the name of Jesus, let it bring blessing as in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God be upon this water right now, Father. My God, hallelujah, Jesus. I decree and declare that the fire of God shall be upon them as they drink this water today. As they drink this water, my God, the fire shall be upon them to remove every impurity from their body, to remove everything, my God, that the enemy has planted. Let their deliverance come, my God. Whether they burp this morning, let it come. Whether they belch this morning, let it come. Whether they vomit this morning, let it come. Whether they use the bathroom this morning, God, let it come. I decree and declare that this water has been blessed. This water now carries the power of deliverance. It carries the power of healing. It carries the power of breakthrough. And as they drink, mighty God, the fire shall be released upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Drink your water. Drink your water. Hallelujah. As you drink your water, just decree and declare, I receive my deliverance in Jesus' name. I receive my deliverance in Jesus' name name hallelujah drink your water and decree and declare i receive my deliverance in jesus name hallelujah i speak healing right now any part of your body where you're having problems as you drink that water may the healing power of god come upon you may the blood of jesus begin to move through you and upon you right now for healing in the mighty name of jesus as you drank that water may the blessings of god locate you wherever you are for favor uncommon favor in the of the words that were not opening for you begin to open now in the mighty name of Jesus as living waters flow through your body let everything that was dead in your life come alive right now in the mighty name of Jesus as living waters flow through your body everything in your life that was dead let it come alive now in the mighty name of Jesus I speak life over your finances life over your health life over your marriages life over your ministries life over everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare living waters is moving through you right now in Jesus name. Father begin to remove every impurity in their bodies. Every person who is sick my God we speak healing over them as they drink that water now. Begin to flush my God. Begin to flush my God. Begin to purge. Perform supernatural surgery on them right now as they drink that water. Let healing come to them in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you my God. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, people of God, let me know. You can get back with your testimonies and let me know what God has done for you from this life. Come back with your testimonies and let me know. Hallelujah. All right, people of God, you can come back with your testimony. The healing of God will you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me know what has happened for you from this life today. Your deliverance must come. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your deliverance must come. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm just going to close off with this song now. You can let me know what God has done for you. Come back with your testimonies. All of you who feel like using the bathroom, if you want to vomit, you can go and vomit. If you are burping, that's your deliverance. If you are yawning, that's your deliverance. If you feel like you need to use the toilet, please run to the bathroom and do so. God is going to remove, remove some things from out of your life and out of your body today. As you drank that water, your healing and your deliverance is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is for you. The enemy thought he buried you. But God is saying today is your day of deliverance. The grave that the enemy made for you, it is empty. As of now, it is now empty. You have been restored. You have been resurrected. God is turning your graves into gardens. Your deliverance has come. Receive it in Jesus name. Just worship and give God glory. Give him thanks. Give him thanks for your deliverance. Just begin to thank him. Give him thanks. As I prepare to leave you, just give him thanks. Give God glory and give him thanks. I want to close off, but I need to see you thanking God. Just give him thanks for what he has done for you. Thank him for your deliverance. I need to see you giving God thanks right now. Hallelujah. Begin to give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. There is nothing better than you. understand that I love you dearly. I believe in a God who is all powerful and I'm committed to ensuring that the blessings I've experienced in my life and the deliverance I've experienced that you too will also experience it. I cover you under the blood and I decree and declare that you have stepped 
stepped into your season of favor. I've stepped into your season of birthing. Everything that concerns you, may the Spirit of God be moved mightily over your life to perfect it in Jesus' name. Kabel is saying that she has birthed. All right, people of God, I know that God is moving mightily in your life for your deliverance. Hallelujah, Jesus. You can always come back. You can inbox or you can post your testimony. What the Spirit of God said to come on the live today because somebody will be delivered. I know that you will come back with your testimonies in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful afternoon wherever you are. May the Lord bless you. Carol is saying she just used the bathroom. I was feeling a pain in my stomach after I drink the water. I feel much better. That is you, Beverly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God, as you deliver your people. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing and letting others know what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Barbara, you can inbox me, sister. Barbara Sherabin, you can inbox me. All right. God bless you. I will see the messages. Somebody will see the messages or I will see them if you inbox. Have a wonderful afternoon, my sister. Dion James Mighty, Trudy Smith, Hyacinth Gray Gray, Evangelist Maureen Mitchell, Sister Claudia, all of you. God bless you. I love you.